In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best way that you can use to organize all your colored text and your comments within your Notion page. And we're going to be doing that by using the Notion Plus Mark Manager add-on for Firefox and Google Chrome. I'm going to be walking you through all of the key features of this add-on so you can really appreciate the full use of it and be able to use this and apply it within your Notion setup. And we're starting right now. So the first thing we need to do is add the Notion Plus Mark Manager add-on to our web browser. Currently, this is compatible both with Mozilla Firefox plus Google Chrome. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through the Firefox version but don't worry features and functionality of the add-on is exactly the same whether you use Firefox or Google Chrome so you should be able to follow through and apply all the functionality if you're using Google Chrome. To install the add-on you have to navigate to this website and I'll put a link to this in the video description below. Once you're on this page all you have to do is click add to Firefox then you're going to give permissions and then we're simply going to click OK. Once you've done that that should have installed this add-on to your web browser now let's head over into our Notion setup to see it in action. Once you've logged into your Notion, you should see an icon at the top which refers to the Mark Manager add-on that we've just installed. If you click on that, a small window will appear. This window is split into two sections. One is the colored text and the other one is comments. Now within your Notion page, if we had any text or background that was colored, it would actually appear within this window. Equally, if we had any comments on the page, then they would also appear within this window. So let's go ahead and make some changes changes to this page in Notion so that I can demonstrate to you the power of this add-on. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is what happens when we change the color of the text within this article. So let's go ahead and select a few different examples. So I'm going to select this word red and I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to color this red. Then I'm going to take this section here which is a leap of faith and I'm going to color this text a different color. So in this case let's choose yellow. Let's scroll down a little bit further and now let's click on a final note and let's color this text as pink. So now let's go ahead and click on the icon and see what's changed. So the first thing you'll notice is within the color tab we now have three different paragraphs and what's happened is that the mark manager add-on has instantly imported all the colored text and ordered them depending on the color. The second thing is that it's not only given you the particular text that was colored it's also given you a snippet of the paragraph in which that text resides. This is really powerful because if you are actually organizing all the highlights within your Notion page. Instead of just viewing the bits that are highlighted, you actually do want to be able to see the text that was around it so you can understand the context in which you've highlighted that particular text line or paragraph. The third really powerful feature of this is when you actually hover over the particular paragraph, you can see that it becomes highlighted and you can actually now go ahead and click on this and the add-on will take you to part of the page where that particular text appears. So let me demonstrate that one more time. So if, if, if I now want to be able to go to the final note text which was colored in pink we'll just go ahead and click that and you can see it's automatically scrolled the page down to where that text actually appears. So again and let's go ahead and highlight another piece of text but now using one of the same colors that we've already used. So let me come down here and I'm gonna highlight the word surface in red as well. So now let's go ahead and click on the mark manager icon on the top right hand corner whilst we're using this notion page. So what you'll notice is that the mark manager add-on is also sorting them into categories according to their colors. For instance in this case we actually highlighted two different texts with the color red on two completely separate parts of the article and it's actually grouped them together. So this is a really efficient way of actually organizing and referencing all of the different highlights that you made on the page and in particular if you're using different colors for different purposes. Now the final feature I want to show you is the export function. So if I clicked on that you can see that all of the different colored texts have now got this checkbox next to them. Now we can do one of two things. We can either select each of them individually and then once you do that it actually allows you to copy or download that particular piece of text or we can click on select all and it will select all of the different references that we've got on the page. I 
way the text has been highlighted and we can either copy this and then paste it or we can actually download that. Let me just quickly show you what each of those actually does. So when I select copy, I can actually go down to the page and click on paste. So you can see that it's copied all of the text and it's pasted in here. So again, this is a really good way or a really quick way of actually extracting all of the key bits of the article that you've highlighted and being able to manipulate that or move it from one page to the other within Notion. The other thing you can do is if we go back into the icon, you can actually click on the export, select all, and in this case, you can actually select download. When you click on that, you can actually download all of this text or all of the references that you've highlighted as a .txt file. And if I go ahead and click OK, what you'll notice is that it's extracted all of the different references that we'd highlighted in a different color and actually open them up in a notepad. So again, this is another way of extracting the key bits of the article and being able to transfer it from Notion into any other application that you want. So that's how you would use the add-on when you'd actually change the color of the text within your article. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we change the background color of the text rather than the text itself. So let me find a couple of different pieces within the article that I want to be able to change the color of in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and look at these subheadings. So I'm going to color, so I'm going to change the background color of this to be yellow and I'll go ahead and do the same for this one. Let's change this to green and let's change the equipment one to yellow as well just so we can see what happens. So now let's go ahead and click on the icon to see what's changed. As you can see the text with the colored background has also now appeared within this window alongside the colored text and once again you can actually click on this and it will scroll the page down and take you straight to where that particular text is. And just like when we have the colored text we can click on the export and we can also export the text with the colored background the same way so we can copy it or we can also download that and export that as a .txt file. So that's the main functionality that this add-on gives us when we're dealing with colored text. Now let's go ahead and see what features we get when we're dealing with comments on the page. So let's go ahead and add some comments on the page. So we'll highlight that, we'll click on comment and we'll add a comment in here. This looks good and we'll go ahead and click send. Then I'm going to scroll down in the page and I'm going to go ahead and add another comment on this entire row. So if we were just scrolling through Notion, the only way to know whether there's a comment on the page is by having a look at this comment bit. And we have to keep scrolling through the whole article to try and find the comment. However, when we use this add-on, we can simply click on the icon and we can click on the comments tab. And as you can see, pretty much like the colored text, we now have two different snippets that we can click on. And for each of the comments, it's actually highlighted the text on which we've actually made the comment. The first text, we actually added a comment on the first three words whereas on the second one we actually highlighted the whole row and actually made a comment against the whole thing and that's the reason why all of this text has been highlighted as opposed to the first comment so much like the colored text if we actually go ahead and click on this the notion page will automatically scroll to the context of this mark and if it's a comment the notion page will not only scroll but it will also show us the comment itself as you can see over here so a window has popped up alongside the actual row to show us what the actual comment was, who's made it, what time it was, and then we can just go ahead and reply to that if we wanted to. The same will happen if we click on the first comment. So if I just clicked on that, you can see it's automatically scrolled to where that comment was made and it's showing us what that comment is. So again, this is a really powerful and really efficient way of actually dealing with comments and color text within a page. Once again, you also do have the functionality to export. So you can basically click on this and you can export multiple marks very quickly and the reason why you'd want to do that is if you want to be able to use these marks elsewhere you don't have to bother selecting and copying and pasting them one by one the mark manager add-on can help you copy and download to export multiple marks at the same time so it definitely saves you time energy and it's so much more efficient in terms of your workflow so you can just go ahead and copy this and if I go ahead and paste this at the bottom of the page so it won't actually paste the comment that was made it will actually paste the text that came along with it. So that's just the new ones that you need to be aware of. And we can go ahead and instead of copying it, we can also select all and download this into a .txt file, just like we were doing the colored text. So it will copy the entire row of text or the paragraph that came along with the comment itself. So now we've had a look at both the colored text and the comments features of this particular add-on. There are two more things that I want to be able to show you. Instead of actually clicking on the icon, it 
if we actually right clicked on it and we clicked on manage extension, you'll see that another tab has opened up. So if we go ahead and click that and then we click on options, this is the settings menu. Again, really powerful. And let me just walk you through each of these settings so you know what they're capable of and you can decide how you want to be able to customize your mark manager add-on within your Notion setup. So the first setting we're going to go through is what happens when different font colors are selected within your Notion page. So by default, all of the colors are selected. So if we go back into our Notion article, what that basically means is that if we go ahead and color the text, any one of these default colors within Notion, all of these texts will actually appear within our color text tab. Now let's say you only wanted to be able to have the highlighted yellow to appear. And that's what you can do using the settings within this add-on. So if we wanted to be able to do that, what I would simply go ahead and do is untick all of the colors of the font that I didn't want the add-on to be able to recognize and import into within this window. So if we just go ahead and save this setting now, what this is saying is that only when the font color of the text is yellow, that's when the Notion Plus Mark Manager should be able to import that text within his window. So if we head back into our Notion setup, hit refresh. So we've still got the text highlighted in a number of different colors. So we've got red and we've got yellow. So previously both the red and the yellow text was showing up within the add-on. So let's go ahead and click the add-on now. So as you can see, the snippets that were showing us the red text have now completely disappeared because we have changed the settings of this add-on to only pick up text when it's yellow colored. So again, that's a really powerful feature within this add-on and it gives you just another layer of customizability so that you can really make it work for your particular workflow in Notion. Now let's head back into the options setting to show you another feature. The next thing we can customize is the background color. What we mean by that is similar to the font color, we can say if the background color is a certain color, only then the add-on should be able to import the text within its window. So let me just go ahead and untick all of the colors and just leave the yellow back. And I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now if we could head back into the Notion. Now before I refresh the page and change the settings of the add-on, let me just click on the icon first. And as you can see, we in terms of the background color, we still see these three, three colored text references. And now if I go ahead and refresh the page, it should only leave us with the references that were highlighted in yellow. And there you go. So you can see only the yellow ones have been left behind, but that doesn't mean that the article has lost its reference to the other background colored text. So you'll still have all of your highlights, all of your different colors within the article. It just means that within the add-on, you're not going to have that showing up. So you can be very, very specific about what you want to be able to go through and have imported into your add-on window. So the next option is being able to customize which tab appears first within that window of the add-on. So if I click back into the add-on, so all that means is that by default, color text is the first tab that appears and the comments is the second. But if we swap that around, we, just, we will see the comments on the left and we'll see the color text on the right-hand side. So again, it's totally down to your preference in terms of what you use more. I personally use color text more than I use comments. Therefore, I prefer to keep it as a color text being the first tab. The final thing we can actually actually change is determine how many times we want the paragraph or the line to appear if there's more than one color text within the line. So by default, if the whole paragraph has at least one font color change or the background change, it will actually show you that. But if in the same paragraph, you actually have two sets of colors, it will actually duplicate the snippet to show to you that there's actually two or more texts that are actually colored within the, within the paragraph. So let me just go ahead and quickly demonstrate demonstrate that. If I highlight that and I click save, I'll come back into my notion. Let's go ahead and find this particular line. So in this particular paragraph, you can see that only this part has been highlighted. Therefore, I can only see one snippet. However, if I go ahead and highlight another section of this to be yellow as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to change that to yellow and I'm going to go ahead and change this to be yellow as well. So now within the same paragraph, we actually have three different yellow texts. So if we go ahead and click on our icon now, you can see that it's showing us all the three references within the same snippet. Let's go ahead and refresh the page. And if we clicked on it now, you can see that for every single time a color text has appeared within the same paragraph, the add-on has actually duplicated snippet. So it's the same snippet that's been copied three times. So again, it's just down to your personal preference, whether you want the whole
whole paragraph to be displayed within the window every single time there is a, another piece of text that's been highlighted. I personally don't prefer this option because it doesn't really add much more value because within the same snippet you can actually see how many different texts are actually highlighted. So you don't necessarily need to see the whole paragraph repeated three times. But again, if you do find that feature useful, you can just simply come and click on this option and select that. So we're just gonna go back and do that. So the final feature I wanna talk about is the fact that this particular add-on works within the dark mode theme as well. So let me just quickly go ahead and show you that. So let's go ahead and change this to a dark theme and see what the add-on looks like. So we'll head over to the settings and member section, then we'll go to appearance and then we'll select dark in the dropdown. Then we'll click out of that window. And now let's go ahead and click on the icon. And as you can see, the background of the window has turned black and has given us the dark theme and it still looks pretty good. So I know a lot of people actually use the dark theme as opposed to the light theme. So this add-on should work seamlessly with the dark theme as well. So there you have it guys. That was a quick run through of the Notion Plus Mark Manager add-on, which allows you to be able to supercharge your Notion setup by helping you organize your color text and your comments in a more efficient way. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. Also, please do let me know if there's a specific topic that you want me to cover and I will put that on my list of videos. If you're interested in more Notion tutorials, then I suggest you watch this video next.